Hello and welcome back to the Balling Sisters and I am back today again and I am back for our FPL game week number 6. So what happened in game week number 5? Uh, a lot of changes, some changes off the screen and off the video as well uh, at my last moments. So that is something which I am going to get into now uh, and tell you about what are my plans for game week number 6. Do I do some changes? Uh, I got one free transfer, so I'll talk all, all about that in, further in the video. But for now, do like, share, subscribe, enable those notifications and do let us know what are your thoughts on our game week number 6 video. So let's get straight into it. For our game week number 5, I had scored 76 points. My game week rank was about 2.1 million. My overall rank has more or less remained the same. It's just been an up and down from previous week by about 200. Uh, so I am at 4,446,547. Uh, My overall score has reached up to about 344. I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, let me tell you about how did my last week pan out. So I have Ramsdale uh, who gave me two points last week. Um, I've got Trent Alexander-Arnold uh, who has given me two points last week. My defense, let me get into my defense because I've continued with uh, the superstition which I have uh, for having uh, five at the back, three in the middle and two up front. Uh, so in my defense line, I've got uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Fortunately enough, Cancelo gave me 12 points. Kukurea gave me one point. Trippier didn't give me anything. He had a yellow card, so he gave me nothing. And Tottenham uh, and Liverpool won in the 90th minute. Again, a questionable outcome. But the change which I did off the camera, and I was not able to tell you guys, was about James. When the news broke that James was not going to be there, the video was already out. So I had removed James and brought in Atsupinia from Brighton. And he has been performing week in and week out. So I have kept him. Uh, I had brought him in instead of uh, James uh, last week. I had kept Salah as my captain. I did change out to Haaland in between. But then uh, last moment I did those changes when I was doing a substitution for James to Estepina. But I think so that was a big question mark for me. I shouldn't have done that because Haaland in the first half scored a hat-trick. We all know about what he did and what kind of a game he's had uh, last week. So, Salah gave me about 20 points. Martinelli about 10. Uh, Luis Diaz 2 points. Gabriel Jesus uh, 6 points and Haaland about 17 because that includes the hat-trick. My bench had Ward which gave me 2. I really thought that I should remove Trippier or Kukurea at that moment of time. Not Kukurea but at least uh, Trippier and bring in Andreas because I want to change in from a uh, 5 4, uh, sorry, 4 5 4 5 3 2 to a 4 4 2 and go back into and make Andreas slip in. But unfortunately, I didn't do that and I lost about six points, which has gone on to my bench, but no qualms about it. I have Murphy uh, who's giving me one point and Greenwood about nil. So when I removed James, I bought an Estepina and my bank. Approximately had about two point uh, two million is there currently in my bank. So now the thing which I am looking at for this week is that will Ramsdale play? First question is that will he play? Now if he doesn't play, then it is going to be a big question mark for us uh, and for me because Arsenal this week is playing Manchester United at Old Trafford. So and with his muscle injury and seventy five percent chance of playing. I really don't know will Ramsdale play or not, but I have high hopes of if he's going to play. The question over here right now for me is that should I substitute Ramsdale or remove Ward and bring in Henderson? Because Henderson, no matter how Nottingham Forest has been performing, has been the savior for Nottingham Forest of not losing at a high number. So that is one transfer which I am looking at of my goalkeeper, maybe my substitute goalkeeper being Dean Henderson and removing board. So that is one thing which I am looking at right now. My mid section or my defense section, more or less, I want to remain the same, keep it the same or maybe remove uh, Kukurea 
and bring in James back because J- these guys are playing West Ham. Uh, Chelsea is playing West Ham. So, I want to make sure that I do get some points. And with James coming back after the midweek game where he didn't play, I know for sure that James is going to be playing across this week. So, there is going to be Trent Alexander Arnold. He's going to be for sure, uh, for sure going to be there. I'm going to keep Cancelo where I was thinking I would remove him, but he's given me points last week. So, I'm going to keep him this week as well. Uh, Kukurea, I am just thinking about that. Should I change him or not? And then I'm going to keep Trippier and Estupina for this week in terms of Crystal Palace because Newcastle is playing Crystal Palace and Estupina is playing Leicester City. So that is what I have in my defense. But my biggest question for you guys, uh, do let us know in the comments that what do you think that should I keep Kukurea and, uh, and and remove uh, and and remove uh, Kukurea and bring in uh, James and also should I remove Ramsdale and bring in or, or should I remove Ward and bring in what I feel is going to be uh, Henderson for this week so that is something which is there in my mind while I am at it while I am at it I might do that only. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in Dean Henderson. So, that gives me about a 1.4 in bank because Ward was at 4 million. So, I'm going to be using 0.6. Uh, so, I am going to get Dean Henderson in for this week. Even though Dean Henderson has very, very tough fixtures. At least in the three fixtures he has, he's got Bournemouth, he's got Leeds and Fulham. Uh, which are very decent and he will be giving out points. I am expecting Nottingham Forest for us to do certain things very, very good. And also, with a 5.1 of Kukurea, I am going to be removing Kukurea and bringing in James at a 6.1. That leaves 0.4 in my bank for my rainy days and Sundays, which I do have. Uh, and for my midfield, I will keep the same three. I'm going to be keeping Martinelli, I'm going to be keeping Mohamed Salah and I'm going to be keeping Luis Diaz. So again, I'm going to be playing back five and front mid three and two up front. So and my front two are already decided. So I've got Gabriel Jesus. So uh, like for example, I just said that I'm going to be keeping these people there. So my team is going to be for this week my Ramsdale is already decided. Like I said, my back five are going to be Alexander Arnold. I've got Cancelo who's going to be playing. I've got James who's going to be there. I'm playing Trippier who's playing Crystal Palace at home. I've got Estupina for Leicester who's playing at home for Leicester in terms of Brighton's shirt. Then in my middle, I've got Everton. I've got Mohamed Salah. Um, Martinelli is playing Manchester United away. So there is a big question mark uh, in terms of will Martinelli give me points or not. But then he does have very decent fixtures coming across. He's got Everton, Brighton and uh, Everton, Brentford and Tottenham coming in the next three game weeks. So I feel that Martinelli is very sorted. Luis Diaz is again going to be playing because Liverpool is playing Everton this week. And then they have Wolves and then they have Chelsea away. So Luis Diaz, yes, I'm keeping for this week. My up front, I've got Jay, uh, I've got Jesus, who's going to be continuing to play, and I've got Haaland, who's playing Aston Villa. Now, I cannot, I don't want to play Andreas right now, Andreas Pereira, because he's playing uh, Tottenham away. Murphy stays on my bench, and so does Greenwood. Now, the biggest question which I have for myself is that should I bring in Dean Henderson for Ramsdale, which I feel because looking at the form which Manchester United are in. I feel that I should bring in Dean Henderson and play the first team because Dean Henderson is playing Bournemouth. And the kind of form in which Dean Henderson is in, he is sure shot going to be giving me points. That is what is there in my mind. And coming on to my captain's choice. And so for everybody as well, because Haaland is in form of his life, five games, nine goals. So, that is something which is running in my mind that I might keep Holland captain this week. But then again, Salah is playing Everton. Not in good form. We've got a, uh, we've got a Merseyside derby. He's going to be high power, high press. And Lampard does. Lampard and his team, I hope, fingers crossed, do perform well uh, in the Merseyside derby. Because there is acts looming at his 
end as well so for me right now what i feel is that should i bring in haaland is a big question because haaland will remain a big fixture for me and for the rest of the people what i my think is that yes i will change and bring in haaland even though he's got uh, aston villa away at villa park his fixtures are also very good next week he's playing tottenham and then he's got wolves and he's got manchester united at home uh, so we've got a manchester derby looming in we've got uh, manchester city playing tottenham hotspur so again there is a few things which are to be kept into account for the coming weeks as well but on the whole i am pretty happy with my team where i have done two changes i have removed ward and i've brought in dean henderson who's going to be my backup goalkeeper and i have removed kukurea and i've brought in james a very prominent fixture uh, so i am now left with point 4 in my bank and i hope that this thing is going to help me out further and see that what does this team brings out for me in the coming days so that is what my thought is for this week and for my fpl team i hope you liked my team and my thought process for this week for my uh, mid defense my mids and my forwards as well as well as the kind of transfers which i am making this week i will be back next week with a new fpl team for game week number 7 where we've got crackers of a game do take care and do like share subscribe enable those notifications and do let me know what are your thoughts for the changes which i have done in my fpl team today i'll catch you guys in the next one adios